to try and deploy that. So um, I just like to protect this part a bit better while it's because it swaps around so much. I'm going to try and put a splint on it. Works. It doesn't have to be watertight on it, it's just to do a little bit of extra mechanical strength. Oh, that's just a little bit of a splint to try and get a little bit of extra protection on it. Oh, I'm messing with this coat. Need to get it snuck through the vent. Wish me luck. So, now it's actually here, but we don't see any new lights because I have to connect to the other end. Oh, put it inside at least. I have to unpack, the, take away the protection, and I have to take one of the single mold. I'm actually, the only one of two which I have. I've got more ordered, but they haven't come yet. I plug that in and hope it works. So, right, we got Blinky Blinky. So that looks good. So it says that it's got a link and there's traffic going over the link. Well, that seems to be working okay. A quick sanity check. That seems to be transporting traffic. Oh, single volts set. Well, now it's time to try to connect the workstation. Until it switch. Oh, that started up immediately. So now I have the workstation connected and let's see if we can maintain traffic for a reasonable time. So now I'm going to pull out the Ethernet cable. There we go. So no more Ethernet, so let's see if the <coughs> these cards are like has been discussed prior, these cards are prone to overheating in normal workstations without adding extra fans dedicated for this network card so we'll see i'm just gonna have to try and run it and see if it works for my normal operations all network access is working and we have two live ports let's see if i can switch to speed so oh, two to 10 gig ports are active 